It was the summer I finished the second grade when I came down with appendicitis. I was quickly rushed to the children's hospital where I had a surgery done to remove my appendix. I remember briefly before the beginning of the surgery, they were giving me a rundown about what was going to happen, I wasn't paying attention to them. I was too focused on the screen that showed my heart rate, beep, beep, beep. It was rhythmic. It was beautiful. I was zapped back to reality when I heard the word unconscious. What's that? I ask. When you can't think or feel your body or mind, there is a loss of synapse connection. The surgeon said, What that smarty pants means is you will be asleep the entire time and won't feel anything said the other. Now can you count down from 10 to 1 for me? 10 9 8 7 Then I was shut out. I didn't feel anything, and it was like I was sleeping. I even had a dream. I saw little boys and girls playing soccer, giggling and having fun. But they weren't just normal children, they were wearing hospital gowns like me, and they felt cold, as if they were without a pulse. They were like transparent sheets, or like stained glass the way light went through them, only leaving a slight impression of their figure. On noticed me standing there in the corner of the room and pointed. Have you come to join us too? One asked. No, I don't know why I am here. They all seemed shocked and told me one chilling thing. If you go back, please remember our names. Samantha Blackwell, Daniel Copperfield, Scarlett Roushi, and Tyrone Smith. Then it all started to fade away quickly, I was once again in my hospital room, with the sun shining through. The operation was a success, and within a few days I was back home. For a few days I couldn't get that dream I had out of my head, but days became months, and month became years, and the memory was becoming duller and duller. Over 10 years later and I'm a freshman studying at Harvard getting my degree in medical science. It's been a hard time studying at such a pressed Gaia school. But I had a particularly difficult experience when learning about the unconscious. Does anyone know what that word means? The professor asked the class. I was brought back to that Sugi room from years ago. I raised my hand and answered, when you can't think or feel your body or mind. There is a loss of synapse connection. Almost like a dreamlike state. Yes and no. You are right about the first part, you can't feel yourself and there is loss of synapse connection. But that is different from a dream. In a dream there are many synapse connection as you are imagining things. For example, you can think while sleeping but not under anesthesia. What he said enlightened me, but it also freaked me out. Because if what he was saying was true, then why did I have that dream during my sugi? When I went back to my dorm later that night, I searched up dreams and vision under anesthesia. Titles that read seeing into the past. My late grandmother spoke to me while in surgery. Near death experience meeting fellow friends while on anesthetics. Popped up. I read them all, but none seemed to have any scientific backing it up, they all appeared to be some made up stories to scare reddit users. But I know what I experienced, 
it did happen. I searched up the hospital I was in, St. John's. Most of what I saw was welcome pages and all that kind of bull crap. But then I found a flagged link, false information, my computer spotted. I read the title of the page, it read. The Mysterious Deaths of the Four Kids at St. John's I clicked, and the first thing I see is, the name Samantha Blackwell, Daniel Copperfield, Scarlett Rauschie, and Tyrone Smith. 